Okay, so uh, the Divi theme. Okay, so you guys are obviously familiar with themes. Um, you should be from doing it before. It, it's more or less kind of the base template for which you build your site. Um, now, there's a bunch of different ones out there. You can find just, I mean, there's probably tens of thousands of them. Uh, but Divi is basically a really robust one that uh, has a lot of flexibility in it, um, and it tends to create really nice-looking, functional, pleasing designs. Uh, and... Uh, it's uh it's i don't know if i want to say it's industry standard but it's 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 definitely used by uh web design professionals now that being said it does mean that it costs money um so they have a couple different options uh, if you go to the divi theme here let's go divi um let's see if they have how much it costs but basically they have two price two prices for it one is uh our product divi all in one let's see if this has got it really say okay oh here we go pricing so basically what you can do is you can pay for yearly access which basically means you're going to pay 89 dollars a month so it's a subscription base uh or you can pay for a lifetime access uh, and it gives you access to all their stuff um and yeah so it's 250 bucks so that's obviously pretty expensive and probably out of your price range so i did talk with them or email them or whatever uh and more or less what they're going to do um uh, is this um, if you want, uh, what, what they're going to do is allow you guys to work on it. So, um, this paid it, we paid for the lifetime one, so the 250, um, and we're allowed to give it to you guys, but, um, that's an understanding that you're only going to work locally. You're not allowed to put it online. Okay. Um, if eventually you want to take your website that you make in here, and you want to put online, then you're going to need to buy a license, uh, either the subscription based yearly one or the lifetime one. Uh, you can make a choice of what you want to do. If you do make something here and you do want to use it, you have to do that. Okay. So just so you understand, it's illegal for you to, to use it. Uh, also, um, you're not allowed to distribute to anybody else. Um, you're not allowed to use any projects in the future. You can just use it now in this educational environment so we can teach you how to use it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so don't use it for any of those things. Okay. Uh, but you will probably like it and you will probably want to use it in the future. So I would probably suggest getting it, uh, eventually. Um, I wouldn't now. Um, but if you do need to get to it, we can, you can just click here to log in. This will just bring you right to the uh, Cecil the Blackboard. And then if you go underneath the class, underneath um, class number five, if you go underneath class number five, uh, you'll see after, you know, I have the introduction. Here's the thing to the lecture. Here's the assignment right here. You can click on this and download it. Okay. It's a Divi. It's a theme or it's a, it's a zip file. Don't unzip it. That's how, um, that's how you install, uh, the uh, themes if you download a theme or whatever it actually is a zip file so leave it as a zip file uh to install it needs to, to stay as a zip file okay so you can download the divi theme there and you can use that but again only uh for um only for uh you know educational use and, and not online all right so there are a couple different options here so uh you should have already installed blackboard or uh, not blackboard you've already installed uh um uh local so I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, I'm just going to make a new site, and then we'll show you what you can do with it here. So I'm going to make a new site. We're just going to call it, you know, uh, Divi Example. And I'm okay with that. Continue. Preferred is fine. Continue. And I'm going to give it a password here. Great. And add site. Now this is going to take probably a really long time. It's also going to ask for administrative privileges. Ah, this thing's annoying. Okay. And we'll hit yes. Yeah, I know about that. Thank you. It gets angry. Uh, but it's probably going to take a little bit. It's going to ask for admin, so you have to be admin. Uh, so if you go to try to install it, uh, a site onto the school's computer, because um, you're going to need to. Uh, in class, I will help you with that. But if I'm there, you're going to have to ask one of the lab staff uh, in order to do that. Okay, so this is going to install um, WordPress and all the various things. And then when this gets done, I will uh, read the video, and then I'll show you how to put Divi onto your site. All right, so this finished installing. I'm going to go ahead and just click to go to admin. So I'll click on that. It's going to make sure you remember what you put your password in. SBCP. All right. Again. Yeah, you can save it. That's fine. And it's going to log me into this. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and just click on view site as well. That way I just have the site here and I can see it there. But this way I'm in the dashboard here. Okay. So to install, the first thing you need to do is install that theme. So we're just going to go down to Appearance Themes. And we are going to add a new. And we're going to upload a theme. We're not using any of these ones here. We have the Divi theme to work with. And we'll hit Browse. 
and then you should have downloaded it. It'll be in the downloads folder of your uh, computer, whatever one you're using. Uh, for me, I just I already I put it on my thumb drive, so I had it where I want it. There we go. Div open. It's just divi.zip, I think. Yep. So browse, hit install now. Uh, it might take a little while, so I'm going to pause this again, and then when it's done installing, uh, I'll start it up again. So it'll take a little while, and then you'll see it'll say installing theme, blah, 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 successful. Then you just go ahead and click activate. And that should activate it. This should be a little bit quicker than the previous thing, or it will take a long time. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we have the Divi, the Divi theme installed. Huzzah. Okay. Um, okay. So, so we have it installed. Uh, so that's how you install it. And if you download a different theme at another time, not today, obviously, uh, you can go ahead and um, use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you um, some of the stuff, how it kind of works, and then uh, it'll be that, all right? So, um, and if for some reason, you know, I'm going to do like a little quickie here, uh, but if you go to it's elegantthemes.com, um, elegantthemes.com, or if you, you can visit the site here, you click on this, and it will bring you right to Elegant Themes, and then you'll see underneath here, it'll have like live builder demo and documentation. The documentation is really good. They have like tutorial videos, and they'll explain. Um, so video tutorials, there's sorts of stuff where they kind of show you how to work the different elements. So you can totally use this, uh, and you can see it's really nice looking and easy to use. So, um, I'm going to do it here, but if you feel like you need more, uh, go ahead and visit there. Okay. So for, um, the order op operations, I'm going to scroll down here first. The order operations that you will work in is like this. And we already did some complete the, the stall, the, the local by flywheel, create a new site. We already did that. Um, install and activate the Divi theme. We did that. Then if I, there's any other plugins I want, I'm not going to worry about that. You probably don't need to either, unless you feel like there's something you need. But Divi has quite a few things in it, so it's probably good enough. Then you're going to set the general WordPress um, defaults and then the Divi defaults. Okay, so um, you can do this one after, really. It doesn't matter. Uh, they're going to be kind of the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Divi theme first. Uh, and then after that, you're going to make your pages and just export it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and I'm just going to kind of a generic -y, uh Divi thing here. Now, what you're going to notice is we have our, our usual um, uh, dashboard here, but it added an extra um, element here, an extra button. So I'm going to go to theme options. And in here, it'll allow me to set um, basic options. Okay. So if I have a logo, I can upload a logo. So I'll go ahead and upload one because um, let's see, select files. And I think I have my cone logo guy over here. Oops, not there. I think it's on desktop cone open I think, that's, I think that's it let me see yeah we'll call that my logo set that as my logo which is pretty cool uh, do i want to fix the uh, navigation bar you can have that on or off i'm going to say yes uh enable divi gallery i'll leave that to say for now um here this one actually is kind of crucial because you can use this for basically your color scheme so black and white are fine um oh so yeah i like white works for me uh let's see uh what i would do is not do it like this. Don't just randomly choose colors, such as it were, um, because you'll probably struggle a little bit. Let's see. We're going to go more gray here. And then I'll make this more of a pink. Okay. Don't do it like I just did there. Instead, use like Adobe Color. Uh, Adobe Color and uh, color.adobe.com and basically you can utilize this and create a um a color uh color mode rgb oh, no, that's fine. i'm trying to see if there's a way to make the background black but um i could choose so i could do like analogous here and then choose you know my color scheme here and then just punch these numbers right punch those numbers into here you can actually type in the number right in there uh, and create your color scheme there. But that way, what you can do is you'll see later on when you go to change the colors of backgrounds or text or what have you, borders and stuff, um, it will use these colors here. Uh, and that's super useful because that way it keeps everything nice and consistent all the way across. Um, grab first post image. You just want to set all of these things. So sidebar, layout. We have right sidebar, left sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and call those as right. Um, if you want to show Facebook icon, Twitter icons, they have all these various things here. Uh, I don't think I really care too much about any of this. And if I want to add my own um, CSS, I can put it there. Minifying is always good because it makes things smaller. 
and it's quicker. So navigation, so exclude pages from the navigation bar. So it's going to automatically exclude the sample page, which is automatically made every time. Um, we have drop down menus. Uh, we do have home link on at one of them. So sometimes you like those, sometimes you don't. Typically, I don't, honestly. But and then there's categories. The general have, I just said that. Uh, categories, um, general settings. I would just go through these and see if there's anything in here. Some of these aren't going to be as as useful as other ones, but um, mostly you just want to kind of work on this general one. That should probably be pretty good for you uh, to, to work with. Okay, so that's one part uh, that you should take care of. Just go right down the line. Now, the other thing you can do um, is this. Let me see. Did I? I'll oh, see. I didn't save. Did it? Okay, good. Yeah. I'm going to scroll down here and make save changes. Uh, maybe it might have undid because I didn't tell it specifically to. Um, okay, I think it saved changes. All right. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages and dupe dupe. Uh, we'll use the sample page as an example for now, but uh, I could make a, a mock page. Sample page. All right. And. Yeah, here it is here. What I want you to do is you're going to click on Use Divi Builder. What's going to do is it's going to, and then edit, oops, edit with Divi Builder. What's going to do is it's going to open up and you're going to have a visual uh, builder instead. So, oh, actually, you know what? That's not even what I wanted to use. I did that wrong. Because we're not actually going to put the content in right now. I want you to do the customizer. So, uh, you might want to try this, but I'm just going to click Start Builder. And I'm going to go back. I should probably just edit page. Edit page. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. So if you go underneath the Divi menu, you'll see Theme Customizer. That's what you should do next. Or even bother doing that. Do, 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 do. All right. And then what I can do here is just make general setting changes. Okay. So I could go to the site identity. So you can see it's already using my logo, which is pretty cool. So the site um, title right now, if you look, it says div example, which is what's up here, because that's why I named the site. It just took it right from that. And so I'm just going to make it um, div example so that it looks nicer. And I'm not going to just another word site. I'm going to say uh, an example to all. All right. And then I could do site icon, which I already have anyway. So uh, I'll go ahead and publish that. All right, and then I'll go back here and let's see, layout settings, um, website content width. So uh, you could just play around with all these different items here. Um, and then you can kind of go from there. So I would just go through and make these general changes because that will allow it. Uh, these will be kind of the global settings, if you will, um, so that they're kind of by default. It all gets to this. OK, so background color. Let's do this. OK. And then uh, publish. I don't even know if it's going to do all that much. It didn't seem to do anything. All right. Um, all right. So, yeah, that would be that. Yay. All right. So, you want to do the customizer next. Um, where are we at? Back down. Whoa. Okay. Back here. Okay. So, we do theme options, then do the Divi customizer, then we'll actually use the builder. Okay. So, um, let's. that's mine. Here we go. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's see out of this and a little exit boop all right and then we'll click uh, edit with Divi builder and I will show you how this next part works so the build pages are actually very simple um, what you want to do do that a second what you want to do is this, um, you're gonna use the Divi builder and basically it works uh, in uh, a sort of broad to specific kind of system so first thing you do is you you make sections okay and then each section can have rows. So there's only one row in the section currently. Okay. So you can choose the background color of the section. And then you have rows in that section. Okay. So you have one section. And then you create um, a row. And then inside the row, um, you choose how many columns you have. And then in those columns, you put modules. And then the final will look like this. Okay. So it'll make more sense when I actually do it. So, um, boop, boop, boop. Sorry, that was not what I wanted. Um, this is the actual site here. So we're going to go ahead and click on start uh, building all right and here you go so this is what we have right now so if I were to look at this right now um, this one down here actually is the global setting so if I hit the little I can um, hit the settings here and it will give me general information for the entire page 
uh, which I don't need to do. But you see right now I have, I guess, just one section. So I have this one section up top here. That's what this blue one is. So I'm going to leave this section alone. We'll make a new section, okay? And I'm just going to say regular. So I made another section. Uh, now, it, obviously, in order to have a section, I need to have a row. So for the first row, I'll have two columns. Now, um, uh, in here, I'm just going to go ahead. I'll do, uh, let's say, uh, an image. Okay, and it's going to give me an option here. And um, I could look for the image. I don't have an image to put in, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And we'll just a little checkbox. And then over here, I would click on the little gray thing. And we'll just go ahead and I'll just do text. Boom. And just be aware that they have a crap ton of settings. So I could go to the design here and um, the text here. And I could uh, choose what I want. I could choose the background color. Notice that it's using those colors that we talked that I talked about before. Um, actually, we'll do nothing. Um, that's what it's sampling. Uh, I could add a link to it. Um, I could do all sorts of stuff. Okay. So um, it's pretty awesome. Okay. So I'm just going to check box. Okay, so in this section right now, which is this guy right here, okay, I have one row, which is the green one here, and then I have two um, columns and two modules in those. So I'm going to go ahead and do another row. So I'm going to click on this. Boom. It's going to add another row. And this time I will do, let's say, four. And then I'm just going to do this. I'm going to click text for the first one. And we'll hit check box. Okay, now I can click on this. And this, again, I'm just going to add text just to make it easy. And a little checkbox. Okay. So uh, now I have this one big section. And I want to put, let's see, two more over here. What I can do is actually, so this, uh, if I click on the gear, okay, let's say I'm like, oh, I wanted to change the, 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 what's inside this module, right? I already put it in there. If you hit the gear, that's the settings for that specific module. So I can retype in the text and I can do all the stuff that I wanted to before. And that goes for everything. Go over to here. If I had the little gear, that's the setting, okay? Now, uh, let's say I was like, oh, I only wanted, um, let's do, okay. This little thing here is duplicate. The little two boxes, click on that, and it's going to duplicate it. Now what I can do is see these arrows? I could take that and drag that guy up there, and then bam, it's in there. So if you want to duplicate it, you can just click the little thing, and so on and so forth. Don't worry about this thing, because basically you can save, um, if you make chunks of things, you can save that, what you made, into the library and then reuse them. Um, but we're not really going to need that. So I again do this, boom. I made a duplicate. I'm going to use the little move. I'm going to plop it up here. Okay. Yay. But let's say I didn't like this module. Just hit the garbage. It's gone. Now, let's say I was like, oh, I only want to do three. I didn't want to do four. Just like um, the other ones have settings. Like if you go here, see it has a setting now for that section. The rows also have settings. So if I hover over this, you can see that now I can go ahead and adjust the settings here. And what I'm going to say is I only want three rows. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that row and, or that column. Sorry. I can delete that column. And bam, and then there's all sorts of other options there. So that looks good. Okay. So now this section has um, two rows. Um, this row has two columns, and this one has three columns, and each column has one uh, module in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make another section. So I've had this little plus. It's going to make another section. I'm going to go ahead and make it regular. And we will, for the first row, uh, let's do, I don't know, uh, this one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So now we see we have these two sections here. And um, what I'm going to do is on this uh, section here, I'm going to go to the settings. Oh, come on. Go to the settings. And I'm going to change background to, let's say, uh, this color. Okay? Boom. And now everything in this section will be that color. And now I'm going to go ahead and in this row, I'm going to add a, a new item with bar counters for some reason. That's great. All right. And we'll do another one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a button for some reason. All right. That's great. Okay. Now what I can do is be like, oh, I want to add another row. So I just go to green. And this time we'll do uh, this one. I already did that one before. And this time I'll do a contact form. Hit OK. I'll do another one. Let's do an accordion. Okay. And we'll do another one. And we'll do a blur. Okay. So you still got a, a blurb. It kind of looks like a, like a, what do you call it? A figure because it has a picture and then the, the text, a big, uh, big caption. Uh, and I'll do another one. Hit this little plus, and I'm just gonna do, uh, I don't know, uh, map. I haven't done map before. All right, I'm gonna go like that. Okay, and 
Oh, I think because I didn't adjust it. And we'll just go with that. Okay. So um, you can see there's that. And then I can do another section. Boop. And we'll just do regular again. And I'll just do one big picture. And uh, I'm just going to do an image. Okay. And we'll hit OK. So now you see I got my next section. But you see how this one in the middle has that color because that section I set to that color. And it makes it very straightforward. You just move right down the line. Uh, and you have your um, design. So it works by doing, again, works by doing sections, and then in the sections you have rows, and you can choose how many columns are in the rows, and then in each one of those columns you in a module, and you, they have various models. You have to look at them. I can't go through every one of them because there's like a million, um, uh, you know, it'd be a really long video. It'd be much more interesting for you to just do it on your own, play around with them, see what they have for options, um, but very expandable. Okay, um, and yeah. And then uh, I think I already mentioned too, you can uh, do settings for each one of those things. So whether it be a section, uh, a row, or a module, they have uh, lots and lots of um, ways of formatting it, okay, and changing it by pressing that little um, gear icon, okay, or cog. So once you're happy and you know it, you should clap your hands. And then um, I'm going to hit save over here on the bottom right, so that will save what I have. All right, good. Okay, um, and then I'm just gonna go back to the dashboard, I guess. Uh, if I go over here and let's oops, over here, let's refresh this. I think I was on sample page, but I'm not sure. Oh, I must not have on sample page. Was I on home page? I don't even know what page I did. Let's see. I wasn't really paying attention. Which it was privacy policy. I don't know, but. Um, anyway, so you would make that. Now, when you're happy with it and you're done, what you want to do is go through and actually export out your site. Okay. Now, this is kind of important because for whatever reason, the uh, sometimes it gets like corrupted, like it just doesn't work. Uh, so you might save it. You should just be able to at this point um, go onto your site. Uh, you know, go here and let's see. Uh, oops, come on. And let's see, can I log out? You should just be able to exit out of it, like so. Let's get out of you too. Um, and then what we would do is you just go over here and you hit stop site. But for whatever reason, sometimes it seems to just not work. So what I suggest doing is this. Before you do that, hopefully it'll still work when you go to do it again, but it might not. Just right click on it and just go to export. And um, export site. And then we'll just, uh, let's see, desktop. And I'll just call it divexample.zip. Okay. And then just hit export, and it will actually export out the site as a file. And then you can go home and unzip it. And then when you're, you know, working at home, you want to bring it back. You just export a zip, and then you bring it into class, and you open up the zip, and uh, there, you, then you're good to go. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's a basic overview. Uh, when you're done with the site, you just hit stop site. I think we already did that. Okay. Um, good. So there is a rough overview of Divi.